Hey everyone, I'm Isan. In this video, we will compare the features and appearance of One UI 5 and latest One UI 6 based on Android 14. On the left, we've got the Samsung M34 5G with One UI 5, and on the right is the Samsung A34 5G with the latest One UI 6 update. Let's now explore the differences between these two UI. The first noticeable change is in the quick panel. In the recent One UI 6 update, some icons like Wi Fi and Bluetooth are now positioned at the top with larger icons. Maybe they put these two icons on the top to make it easier to use. But in daily use, it can be a bit tricky to reach the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth icons when using the smartphone with one hand. In the latest update, you'll find the device control and smart view settings now positioned at the bottom of the quick panel. Additionally, the brightness settings are now positioned a bit higher and also share the same column as other display settings. Then another change you will notice is in the notification panel. Now when playing media like music or videos on Samsung phones after updating to One UI 6.0, there are new cool animations added. You will see this animation right away in both the notification panel and on the lock screen when playing media. When you minimize the media player display in the notification panel, it might resemble the previous layout from One UI 5. But when you expand the display in the notification panel or on the lock screen, you will see the new display that features an album art background that matches the playing media, along with a fascinating sound wave effect. Then there are also changes in the look when you open the dynamic weather widget in the latest One UI 6.0 version. You will notice the difference right away when you open the weather widget and swipe the screen to the bottom to see more weather information. Unlike the previous One UI 5 version where the background color would turn white as you swipe down the screen, in the latest One UI 6.0 version, the background remains in the same blue color and doesn't shift to white color. Apart from that, there is also more comprehensive information at the bottom when you swipe down for other weather details. Then there are also other differences that you will notice right away when you open the camera application. The camera display in the One UI 6 version now features a new layout that is simpler and easier to understand, especially in the photo resolution settings and video resolution and frame rate settings. The settings are now cleaner and easier to understand. You can easily see the available options for video resolution and frame rate, matching the recording capabilities of your Samsung phone. Then in the camera watermark settings, a new options has also been added. Now you can choose to display the watermark not only at the bottom of the photo, but also in the top area of the photo. Then in the latest camera settings, the document scanning option is now separated from the scene optimizer section. So now the document scanning settings are directly in the outer camera settings. Additionally, in the latest version, a level line will also instantly appear to help center photos and videos in the middle of the camera preview. The level lines for photos and videos will appear instantly when you activate grid lines in the camera settings. Next, in the camera settings, there is also a new additional option called swipe up or down to switch camera. By having this option, you can deactivate the camera switch gesture with swipe, which previously you couldn't deactivate in One UI 5 version. Then when you open a photo inside the gallery application and swipe up to see more details, despite the detailed information about the photo that will be displayed, in the latest One UI 6 update, now a quick editing option will also immediately appear when opening photo details. Here usually you will see two options, remaster and object eraser. Then there are also differences when you select a photo object in the gallery with auto selection feature. In One UI 6 version, when you choose an object in a photo in the gallery using the auto selection feature, there is an added option called save as sticker. Furthermore, when you open a video using the latest video player in One UI 6, the display is slightly different from the previous One UI 5 version. Now the navigation icons like Rewind, Pause, and Next are positioned in the middle of the video preview. And the video capture icon has also been moved to the top left next to the GIF icon. Additionally, the video speed settings option is also now directly at the bottom center of the video player preview. Then for the appearance of the photo editor, there are now many changes. The new appearance now comes with larger icons. And the options that were previously in the three dots icon at the bottom right, now it's been moved to the left mouse icon for easier access. When you press the options icon on the far left, you will immediately see interesting features for editing photos presented with bigger and clearer icons. 
Then in the gallery options section, there is now a new video editor called Studio in One UI 6 update. The latest video editor application allows you to install edited video and save the video project which you can continue at another time. Moreover, when multitasking in One UI 6, there is also a slight difference compared to One UI 5. In the latest version, when you open an application in pop-up mode, it will remain in pop-up mode even after you open Task Changer and switch to another application. In the previous One UI 5 version, applications in pop-up mode would be minimized immediately to an icon when you open Task Changer to switch to another application. Then the phone display in the One UI 6 update also being replaced by a new phone called Samsung One UI Sense. This fresh phone also appears slightly larger in size compared to the old phone in the previous One UI 5. Moreover, the icons now feature a more vibrant color, and there are changes in the basic color of some icons, such as connected devices icon. Then there are also color changes in the icon themes, home screen, lock screen, and location settings. Then apart from changing the phone in One UI 6, now there is also a change in the position of the battery settings, which are now placed directly in the outermost settings section. In the previous version of One UI 5, the battery settings were still inside the battery and device care section. Then in security and privacy settings, there is now a new setting called Auto Blocker in the latest update. This setting is meant to safeguard your smartphone by automatically blocking the installation of unknown applications, preventing accidental installations. Moreover, there are also differences in the appearance of emojis, which now look distinct after the One UI 6.0 update. The difference is especially noticeable in the facial expression emoji, which now features a more minimalist look. Apart from that, this latest emoji also looks a little similar in color to the emoji on the iPhone. Then in my files application, there is also now a suggestion feature in the latest One UI 6. This feature offers several suggestions based on the condition of your smartphone. It will help you in identifying files that can be deleted from the internal memory. Then in the latest One UI 6, you can now drag and drop files directly using two hand in my files application and also in some other applications. This feature allows you to drag and drop files with two hands in various locations after updating to One UI 6.0. Then to see other interesting features in One UI 6.0, you can directly tap on the video that appears on the screen. Hopefully useful, see you in the next video.